Here and today we are in Toronto, Ontario, guys. Gonna eat the world's biggest Big Mac. Well, actually, it's a big Rudy, but nonetheless, guys, basically a Big Mac. And here we are outside Rudy's. Rudy today, guys. Here again, delicious burger joint, guys. Having the Big Rudy, which is their rendition of the Big Mac. So this is again not only the Big Rudy or a Big Mac. This is the biggest Big Rudy or the biggest Big Mac ever. So it's absolutely massive, guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be like an eight times Big Rudy, guys. So just absolutely massive. Each of these have two burger patties. So we're talking a total of 16 patties. We're talking a total of 12 complete buns because there's that third layer in between. So it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Should be a lot of fun. So let's head on in, get some food, find some more info, and uh, let's eat. All right, everyone, so here we are, guys. The absolute biggest, big, Rudy, lovely rendition of the Big Mac here at Rudy's, guys. So super excited, everything is just, I saw them make it, it looks great, it smells great, guys. I can't wait to get into this, I can't wait to taste this. Stack so high, I will say. You gotta hold on to it a little bit, I don't want it to fall. With that, guys, let's get started. I love Big Macs, and this is basically the better Big Mac. So if we get started here, let's say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Hold on, let me. All right, yeah, let's let's go. This is this is gonna be fun. All right, guys. The big Rudy looks beautiful. All right, now we'll actually start. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Rudy. That is right guys, Rudy. This is the Eglinton location. There are four other locations, so a total of five different locations in and around the Toronto area. But that being said guys, it is like grill, griddle, a smash burgers, we're talking chicken sandwiches, we're talking brownies, we're talking milkshakes, we're talking some good old food. Very good. So here I am taking on what is the biggest Big Mac, AKA Big Rudy, the biggest Big Rudy, uh, which is their rendition of the Big Mac, um, which recently just became like a, an official menu item. It used to be a secret menu item that you know people would obviously ask for and they would do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But this is now an official menu item, the Big Rudy. So it's very similar to a Big Mac, guys. You're talking the three layers of buns. We got two patties. You got cheese. You got lettuce. You got uh, pickles, and you have onions plus with a delicious Rudy sauce, um, which again, resembles a Big Mac sauce, and I will say is absolutely fantastic, like absolutely delicious. Um, like, I really can't say enough to the taste of this burger. That Rudy sauce is delicious. How this differed from a Big Mac is that it's like, you could tell the beef was just like super fresh, like super fresh, real tasting beef, which is a really big component for me. Um, you know, which really set it apart, again, with that excellent flavor uh, profile. Um, besides that, guys, love the burger spice they have going on their patties as well. It's like simplicity at its best. And I feel like that smash burger, which is like, you know, just that burger, well, essentially smashed into the grill at high heat, um, it does wonders. It's really cool. And the way you do that griddle, uh, smash burger, it's like a Big Mac with grilled beef. So this biggest Big Rudy was comprised of eight Big Rudies. Um, so again, we had a total of 16 patties. We had a total of 12 complete buns being eight, like, you know, eight as if eight burgers, but then you also have the additional one in each. So, you know, for another four buns, so 12 buns in total, which is definitely a lot of buns, um, you know, and definitely a lot of just beef and everything in general. Uh, I will say, uh, like I said, I absolutely love the sauce. Um, I think if I was to do it again, I would love to have a little bit more of that sauce, actually. Something to, like, to dip it in would be fantastic. Usually I like ketchup with my burgers, however, this thing had such a great flavor. Um, I don't think I'd even touch it with ketchup, which if you guys are familiar with my stuff, that, that's ridiculous. Like, you've been following me for a while, you know how much I love ketchup. And the fact that I just said I probably wouldn't put ketchup on this is like crazy. Really speaks to the taste of that. Like, the, the taste and, uh, that, uh, so good, so good. But that Rudy sauce, mmm. Mm -mm -mm. So delicious. 
Um, but essentially, I believe that's pretty much all the information. Like I said, they invited me in to come try out the biggest big Rudy, which is very, very nice of them. Um, so huge thanks to Rudy. No time limit per se, but I figured I would just give it a good shot. See, you know, approximately, um, you know, going at a reasonable speed, how long it would take me to ultimately eat the biggest big Rudy. But in addition to their great tasting burgers, I will say they literally have the best tasting brownies ever. The sauce is so delicious. That would have been a good thing to have on the side, an extra bit of sauce. Yeah, so believe it or not, how I most know Rudy, guys, is not just for their great taste of burgers and fried chicken, which I will say, the fried chicken sandwich is amazing, amazing, and they make their own hot sauce there, which is also amazing. But guys, the best tasting brownies ever, ever. I'm like dead serious. So if you like brownies, it's definitely even worth a trip just for a brownie. Um, but you gotta try it. Best brownies ever. Um, hmm. Hopefully I can get some of those, actually, now that I think of it. I can kind of in the mood for a brownie. Um, so definitely keep a lookout, guys, for another video. Maybe I got some more food. Maybe I tried a few different items um, here at Rudy. Speaking of which, let me know what you're feeling right now. Would you rather have a burger or a brownie? Hmm, I think right now I'm actually in a little bit of a brownie mood, which is really odd for me. But yeah, guys, burgers and brownies, both absolutely excellent choices, both very delicious items. So let me know down below what you are in the mood for. Additionally, hit, feel free to hit subscribe, guys. Absolutely free as well. That way you don't miss a beat. And with that, that's all the information I have for you today. So I'll let you get to the rest of the video. All right. Coming in, just two left. Got a little squished from all the way to the other burgers. Very delicious. Very good. And you should have like the two patties, the bottom in between. Last one seems extra dense. All right, and we're done. Very delicious, very, very good burger, guys. Really enjoyed that. Looks, I mean, it's like the better Big Mac, seriously. So a big Rudy, guys, the biggest big Rudy. Definitely cool. So I definitely recommend Rudy's, guys. They got that smash, that griddle burger action going on. They got a lovely little burger spice on there. That sauce was absolutely delicious as well. Lovely potato buns going on in the burgers. So definitely recommend. You know, they have a few more items. You might want to try to check out. You got some chicken sandwiches, all that cool stuff. So, maybe I'll try a couple more items. Hi everyone, we're back. So, I just got a couple items to try real quick. So here we got the Valentino, which is a buttermilk fried chicken. Guys, looks very, very delicious. We got coleslaw, we got their Valentino sauce on it, then we got their house-made hot sauce as well, which is, they call it a mild hot sauce. I don't know how mild it is, we'll find out. Then I have some of their 
famous. Pickle chips, deep fried pickles, guys. Some people love pickles, some people hate them. Let me know down below what you think of pickles. And we got a brownie. They make their brownies here too, so. I figured I'd try it all, guys. I got to try a lot of their burgers. It was very delicious. So now let's try the chicken aspect, guys. Beef and chicken. Beautiful animals. I love them all. I don't discriminate. So let's give this good old thing a nice bite. It looks very beautiful, incredibly photogenic. Mmm. Woo! Okay, beautiful crunch on that chicken. Mm. Mm. It is warm, it is juicy. You see that steam rolling off it? That combination of Valentino and that hot sauce is perfect. The Valentino sauce is very, it's very creamy. Probably call it like a, it kind of resembles like a ranch in a way, but this tastes a lot nicer actually. I really like the flavor profile on it. And that hot sauce, resembling kind of like a Louisiana. There's a good aged pepper sauce. I like that a lot. Mm. Fried chicken and hot sauce is a thing, guys. They belong so well together. The United States taught me that. The South, and it's something I like to keep up. And it is just a perfect combination, guys. Chicken and hot sauce. Fantastic. That chicken's really good as well. I actually love the crunch. It's very crispy. But it's not overwhelming, it's not overly thick. It just gives you the perfect amount when you bite through it. Get that crunch. Which is very satisfying on the palate. The cross slot adds extra textures. Definitely know the place for that. That hot sauce. And that Valentino mix up, woo! That's a beautiful combo, guys. I, I really like, actually this hot sauce is really like, I just love hot sauce and this is a good hot sauce. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. And like I said, What a nice pairing. Yeah, creamy and hot sauce, guys. Also very good tasting. Mm. Yeah, that acidity, that acidity, that hot sauce. I just love the way the creamy and the acidity complement each other. It all goes so well with the richness of that fried chicken. Very delicious. Very delicious. Lovely. 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 I love chicken, guys. That was a great chicken sandwich. Now let's try some pickle chips. Deep fried batter pickles. Mmm. Got yeah, crunch. Very good crunch. 
dripping in that Valentino sauce. Mm. So the same sauce we had on the chicken sandwiches, we got with the pickles. Love the pickles, really got really traditional hamburger pickle taste. Dipping that little bit of sauce. So you get the lovely flavors of that dill coming out. Dill, creamy. And the richness of the batter and the deep fried goes really well with the acidity of that pickle. So again, it, like, it, it just makes it mild. So it's not as acidic. It's not as rich, it's just really well balanced. And the seasoning, got some salt, some pepper. I want to say some paprika maybe. Yeah, the hot sauce is delicious. Love it. All right, last but not least, guys, try one of their homemade brownies. Mmm. Wow. All right, I wasn't expecting that. It's incredibly soft, guys. Incredibly gooey. Very gooey brownie. I can tell there's like a lot of real chocolate and chocolate chips at the bottom there, but this seems like a layer of chocolate chips or chocolate, like pure chocolate, and then a lovely brownie on top. It's so moist and so rich. Very, very moist brownie. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's actually fantastic. I'm usually not a big brownie person, but that brownie was amazing. Honestly, I would go as far as to say one of the best brownies I've had in a very, very long time. Like, one of the best in memory. I'm very shocked, guys. I usually don't like brownies, and that was very, very good. Very shocked. So, everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. Very delicious food. And that's it, guys. The chicken was fantastic. The brownie was freaking fire. I definitely recommend both of those things. The Valentino, great sandwich, guys. Love that hot sauce. I definitely asked for extra. Mm, such a great flavor. Holy crap, that brownie, though. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Huge thanks to everybody, guys. I really love to see you guys repping the merch. Thank you for buying my shirts, guys. Thank you for sending me the photos of your shirts. Love to see them, guys. Thank you for supporting me by becoming YouTube members, uh, like joining my membership. Thank you for supporting me on my Patreon. Even if you don't want to do any of that, hit subscribe or hit the like button. Just like that video, guys. It's always free and that helps keep me motivated, guys. I love to see the likes on those videos go up. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. So everybody, until next time, say happy, hungry, and of course, Happy eating. everyone thank you so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you click my face right here you can subscribe yes that's right click my face subscribe guys it helps me out it helps you out then you don't miss an upload and hopefully i can meet you when i come to your city also click a video right here i specifically pick two